Courtney Cox here in the Nesson Digital Studio, joined now by MMA junkie Mike Bond. Mike, thanks so much for taking the time to talk with us. Yeah, no problem at all. Thanks for having me. So big news today, UFC lightweight champion Conor McGregor will fight unbeaten boxer Floyd Mayweather. I mean, this has been the talk of the town for weeks now. Uh, wh what's it like for you to see this actually happen? Were you surprised? A little bit. I mean, at first, I, like everyone else, just thought this was fantasy. I thought Conor McGregor, he last fought in November. Uh, he made it clear he wasn't going to fight till at least May because of the birth of his first child. So I thought that just like he always does, and like Floyd Mayweather so good at just keeping their name in the news, make sure there's articles, all these different things being written about them while they're not active, while they're not fighting. That's what I thought at first, but then as time goes on, you see, you hear a thing there, see a thing there, and you start thinking this is actually really going to happen, and then here we are today with the official announcement. Well, you bring up the fact that Conor McGregor maybe just wanted to keep his name in the headlines, but we've seen time in and time out. Uh, McGregor kind of talk a big game, but he always backs it up. Uh, we saw him post a nice Instagram with his newborn saying, you know, let's go get it in boxing now. Do you think that he's going to be able to back it up this time? I have a really, really hard time believing that. Just, it's so different. We're talking about, I mean, my comparison, it's like you're putting a the best tennis player in the world against the best badminton player in the world. Like, it's close, but it's not, you know, the same thing at all. It takes a lot of different training, a lot of different preparation. And in this fight, I just don't really see how Conor McGregor gets it done with such a small window of actually training strictly boxing. Uh, he's never had a pro boxing fight and I was actually just speaking with uh, this woman named Heather Hardy. She is making her MMA debut next week for Bellator and she is a standout boxer herself. She's had many many matches and she's kind of going to be doing both here and she explicitly said like Floyd Mayweather has probably forgot more about boxing than Conor McGregor could ever learn in his entire life and I think that's a pretty good way of putting it. Well, when you look up at the matchup, I mean, Floyd Mayweather, 49 and, and zero, he's, he's unbeaten. When you look at that, who has more to lose in this fight, McGregor or, or Mayweather? I think you have to say it's going to be uh, Mayweather. He has his undefeated record. He has all those things going for him. I mean, he is the guy that just for so long has dominated boxing in every single way. And now he comes into this fight against a guy with a 0-0 zero and zero record, never fought MMA or never fought boxing before. And, of course, if he loses this fight, you know, he's so close. A lot of people think he wants that prestigious 50-0 and 0 record. And a lot of people think that he is taking you know, the easiest fight. Pure boxing people believe that he's just doing this as an easy avenue uh, to get that perfect 50 0 record. And for him to come in there and lose this fight to Conor McGregor, that would be a devast dev devastating blow to his legacy. All right, now let's talk about Vegas. I mean, Vegas is the capital of kind of spectacle. Uh, do you think that this might be the Super Bowl of the Strip? What's the week going to be like leading up to this fight? Well, I think that's honestly what a lot of people are most excited about, and that's going to be the real part of it. It's going to be the press conferences. It's going to be the trash talking between their teams and their coaches, uh, just the entire circus. Floyd Mayweather fights aren't a sporting event. They're a complete uh, spectacle. It kind of overtakes sport. We saw what happened with the Pacquiao fight, and I think this is just that on a more extreme level. If you've ever been to a Conor McGregor fight before, it is absolutely insane. The Irish come out unlike anything you've ever seen before. They're partying, you know, in the hotel lobbies, gathering together, chanting Conor McGregor's name. It's just like something you really have to almost experience yourself. And that for, you know, on this level with this magnitude, it's just going to be, it's going to be something else. All right. Well, great stuff, Mike. Thanks so much for taking the time to talk to us. And all of you watching, you want to make sure to follow him on Twitter at Mike Bon MMA. Mike, I'm sure we'll talk to you a lot leading up to this one. Thank you.